Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. Now you're probably going, what's this video about? And then you would have said, no, I've seen both the title and the thumbnail. I know exactly what this video is about. And so, you'd be right. After much umming I finally bought the bullet on Amazon after a week where I just had too much stuff at work and bought some new uh, Thomas Wood stuff. And this is in the first shipment of that Thomas Wood stuff. So I've got the brand new 2019 fully painted Harvey um, because as was pointed out to me by um, a couple of people on my original Harvey review, uh, the new one is actually substantially different from the old one, not just because it has full paint, but he has a totally different color of nearly everything. So. We're gonna take a look at that. I also really liked the wood model of Harvey. He was one of the most interesting ones. As you can see, he's one of the few ones which has remained on my desk, um, even after I put the rest of them into storage. So what are we waiting for? Let's do it. All right, so if you've watched my uh, Thomas and Diesel 2019 wood reviews, you would know that the packaging is the same and equally, I just checked my own video to find out, the uh, bio on the back is the same. This is obviously the new printed version or the new painted version that we see here, but otherwise it's the same as the old video packaging. So let's just get him out. All right, Harvey's here and out of his packaging. Let's do the uh, signature 360 degree spin. All right, so as you can see, this is Harvey. So the design itself is unchanged, but he's got a brand new coat of paint and a brand new plastic color as well. And he, my first impression is he looks really nice. This red is really vibrant. It's really fresh. It looks bright. It looks fun. Um, it looks very interesting. And you know, Harvey's an interesting looking engine because he's got this thing going on here. So that's really good to see. Quickly along the bottom, I just want to show you, you can see they've got the, the style of, um, printing under here. Interestingly, you can see Harvey's got three pins on the bottom, pins being the new way they skew this together, visible pins, I should say. Um, and I assume this one is a, a somehow attached to this. That would be my guess. Yes, you can see it's spinning around in there. So this is why there's a third pin. Um, I wonder where... Yeah, you can see he has the pin on there too. There we go. Never mind. Um, as you can see, same functionality as the original, which is the, the clicking kind of um, crane in that it, it stops... It has distinct stopping points like here and here. Um, you can see there's a magnet on the crane. You can come down, connect onto his front. Go like this. We've got a nice range of motion there. Um, does come down pretty far towards the ground. Definitely far enough to pick up any engines or rolling stock. Um, in terms of the details, the face is the same. So it's a pretty good face. I quite like the Harvey face. The front and the printing are the same. But as you can see, he's got a red undercoat on his top part and a black undercoat now on the um, chassis. So just like classic wooden railway. Otherwise, all the other details are pretty much the same. Where it gets really interesting though, is when we bring this one in for a comparison. So let's get my display Harvey crane out of the way. You can see that, whoop, I'm getting things everywhere. Um, you can see just how different their colors are. This one, as I said, I was always like, mm, it doesn't seem like it's quite accurate. He should be a, a bit redder. I don't think he should be this redder, to be honest. I think he's probably really somewhere in the middle between these two. But if we're looking at which one looks more visually interesting, particularly towards a child, um, this, I think this is a good color, for example, that Duke should be if they ever made a Duke and Thomas Wood, which they obviously never would. But if they were, that's the color I imagine Duke would be. I think this is much closer to Harvey, particularly in the CGI series. He's quite bright and vibrant. And you can just really tell what, um, not only the, the new color of the crane and also the printing and the wheels do, but when you have that new coat of paint, like it's a totally different toy. Like this looks like a knockoff now. Um, and this does look, I think, really, really nice. Um, yeah, look, when you're doing this comparison, I don't think there's any comparison. Clearly, the new one absolutely smashes the old one out of the park. And I think actually looks quite nice and is quite respectable. Um, he obviously suffers the same problems of all Thomas Wood of the scaling issues and blah, blah, blah. But I think that, you know, for what he is, he's quite nice. And he absolutely smashes the old one out of the park, especially in the coloration. So yeah, there's that Harvey, eh? Okay, so now it's crunch time. Do I recommend this this toy? Um, look, so if you are still somehow collecting Thomas Wood um, and you don't already have a Harvey, uh, I think this Harvey is perfectly adequate and will service you very happily. This new one looks really nice. It's a better color. Looks like a decent model. Um, if you have the old Thomas Wood one, mm, mileage may vary, uh, really depends. I would encourage you to have a look at that one. I don't have it on me. I don't have any old Thomas Wood and railway stuff, or at least not very much. So I can't make that comparison on camera for you, but I think this one is a, you know, it's not the worst, uh, you know, update for a want of a better word that they've done with these models. 
In terms of the price, I paid $16 Australian for this with free shipping because I have a Amazon Prime subscription. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, but I just like to give everyone all the facts about where I bought all the things. Woo. Um, so yes, that is where I bought him. I think, is it a $16 toy? Uh, there's a lot of plastic. This is all plastic and the wood here is got out. This is plastic. These are plastic. You just get this. I don't know if this is a $16 toy. Um, interestingly enough, for a while you could actually get, and for some of the engines you still can get both, particularly on Amazon, both engines. I haven't seen any of the new 2019 Thomas Wood in any places that sell Thomas Wood in Australia. So they've still got the old ones at full price, which I think is quite interesting. Um, so uh, I don't know exactly what he's going to retail locally. I imagine the price will be the same as these ones. And I said, I think with a full paint job, yeah, maybe he's a $16 toy. I would prefer him to be like 15. Given that the adventures are, are the large adventure engines are nine and the small ones are about six, depending on where you buy them, six, seven in Australia, I think probably something like 12 would be ideal, but I think I understand why maybe they would sell these for 15 each. Um, but yeah, 16, you know, uh, is probably getting a bit over. So your mileage may vary on that one, but let me know your thoughts. How much are you paying for these guys when you see them around, if you even see them around. So... That's my review of Harvey. If you are in the thing, which you should know about by now, and if you don't, you've got a uh, very limited time to go back and do it. Um, this is video number five. So my next video will have the announcement of the winners of the thing. And if you haven't worked out what that is now, I've definitely found at least one more bonus prize to include in that or potentially give a second. We shall have to see. Uh, so there's plenty more cool stuff coming uh, on this channel. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. That's all good time for. This is Extreme Trains. Mm -hmm.